What's up, y'all? It's Meet the Pack, episode seven, MVP edition. We got the defensive player of the year. We got the player of the year. Bro, oh, it's, bro. it's the, it's the, oh, Caleb. Okay, we got the player of the year. We got the defensive player of the year right here. And uh, you know, introduce yourself. I know everyone knows you guys, of course. Introduce yourself, number, you know, and um, where you from? Um, I'm Caleb Martin, number ten from Moxville, North Carolina. Cody Martin, number 11, also from Oxford, North Carolina. Now, one thing that's actually really interesting is that these guys are one number apart, they're one number apart of the law school. And one thing that's real crazy is their phone number is one number apart too. And I told him I think that's planned. So I don't know. They do a lot of things one number apart. Just want to let you guys know about that. I'm not giving you guys the numbers though. Okay, first question. Have you have you guys ever played tricks on each other, like twin tricks, like going to each other class? You know, stuff like that. Um, nah, we usually don't play any tricks. Uh, usually people do a good job of doing that themselves. Uh, we usually have to dress like dress the same or anything like that. Because uh, people get it mixed up all the time. The only thing really that people tell us so far is either earrings or hairstyle. That's about it. How, okay, well, since you answered that, all right, so how long does it usually take for people to start realizing who's who? Man, there's some people that still don't even know. They can not realize the whole time they still don't know. But, I mean, some people can get it pretty quick. I feel like most of the time it takes people probably like a month just because it depends how much you're around us. We have different personalities, you know what I'm saying, demeanors, right. how you talk. And things that you like, personalities, things like that. So, okay, but uh, it's pretty well known now that you guys love Bojangles. It's got out there, you know. Everyone, Pac fans, know you love it. Yeah, What's so good about Bojangles? Cody, go first. Everything, to be honest. Chicken, <laughs> biscuits. I mean, I'm not picky. I can go. I can go there and pretty much get everything. But my favorite thing to get, one of my favorite things, is the Cajun filet biscuit Fire. and uh, the seasoned fries. Yeah, and then they got pink lemonade, Ooh. <laughs> and then they the cinnamon biscuit. So basically everything on the menu for real. Uh, and you're pretty much technical part of everything he said. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I'm that every day. All right, so I, I want to ask you this. So uh, we had a couple of other players here, and they were saying cookout's one of the best places to eat. I I know you guys have ate at cookout. Cookout. Yeah. Fine. What's better, Bojangles or cookout? Bojangles is better. Bojangles is better. Cookout is a restaurant you want to go to late night. Late you night. go have a good time where you go out with your boys, stuff like that. Okay. It might be 2 a.m., something like that, then you go get something to get cookout. Okay. Everything you get, you can get a, a lot of options. whole tray, a lot of <laughs> options for the low. So uh, it's good. But as you can tell, these guys love food. Um, next question. Describe each other's game. If you, someone had never seen you guys play before, describe Caleb how Cody plays in your eyes, and Cody in your eyes, describe how Caleb plays. Whoever wants to go first. Um, yeah, I'll go first. Uh, Cody is a point guard. He's a certified point guard. People get it mixed up. He thinks he's a small forward or a power forward since we're at a mid majors But no, he's strictly point guard, but he can play <laughs> other positions. Facts. Um, he's a one through four. He's a one through four. Uh, can bring the ball up. He's a slasher. He's a pass first point guard. Uh, shots coming together really quickly now, so he can. he's becoming more of a, of a, uh, of a natural scorer now and a shooter. So, um, yeah, he's just... You jack of all trades kind of play. It's the most compliments he's ever gave me. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> but uh, describing Kelly's game, pretty much, I mean, y'all know how he is. He's a, he's a premier scorer. He can get to the rack at will. He can shoot the ball. I mean, he's a three-level scorer. And I think something that people, a lot of people overlook is his def defensive side. And he takes a lot of pride in defense. And I think that he, he's really overlooked on the defensive end. But... He's starting to come along with it a lot more lateral, obviously. Um, right now he hasn't been able to practice, but you know I know what he brings to the table, and he plays hard, he brings intensity, he makes the people around him better. So. Right, right. I will say this, playing, he said appreciate that. If you guys can hear him, he appreciates his brother. But <laughs> I will say playing with you guys for long, so far for a year, a little bit over a year, uh, you guys are some of the most competitive guys I've ever played with and played against. So that's another thing that's like big about these guys. They're competitive, they want to win every possession, not every game, every possession these guys are going off. Um, yeah, no problem. Uh, last question. I asked Lindsey this and I asked Jordan this because these guys have been around for a long time. 
but you guys have too. So I want to ask you about much. You know, you guys have been here for uh, what is it, about to be a third year now. Third year. So. Explain how your relationship was with Mus has grown over the years. You know, how was that at the beginning? How is it now? And just talk about that guy as, uh, as a coach. How's he different from other coaches you've had? Um, one big thing that my brother pointed out when we first got here is that he's the type of coach. He coaches like players play. Like like you brought up the competitiveness and me and my brother. Uh, that's how he coaches. He, he you know he, you can tell like if he if he could if he was able to have eligibility left, he'd put on a jersey and go out and do stuff himself. <laughs> so I like that how competitive he is and he doesn't let anybody. Uh, take a playoff, doesn't matter if you're the first guy off the bench then the starting five or the last man off the bench. Whether it's practice or the game, he's going to go hard and hold everybody accountable, which I really, really like. So, and, um, For me, the biggest thing, you know, coming here was trusting uh, my coach, not only my coach, but coaching staff. But, you know, I, I have a lot of trust in Mus. And, um, you know, the biggest thing for, for me that I like about him is how straightforward he is. He doesn't beat around the bush. and. You know, there's basically no shortcuts with him, making sure you do everything the right way, and there's no there's no shortcuts taking every possession um, seriously, every play, you know, just everything that we do in general as a program, just taking it very seriously. And I think the biggest thing, that's the biggest thing I like from him is just being straightforward and t- telling me what I need to get better at, what I'm good at, and how do I progress every day. So I agree. I agree with all those things you just said. Uh, last question I wanted to ask you guys is, uh, I think i seen something on Twitter somebody wanted to ask me. Who wins in horse? Someone's asked me who wins in horse, who's better with trick shots, stuff like that. Who's a better horse player? I don't know. We're actually both pretty good at trick shots. Yeah. We used to play a lot at Oak Hill with our coaching staff. T- shout out T-Bone B-Rock. T-Bone B-Rock. Um, Coach Smith. But, uh, you know, we, I don't know, man. It's tough. We got to play. We'll play. We got to play. All right, man. Get back to y'all. I, I do want to throw myself in there. We've been playing a little bit here this year, and uh, everything's been going good. I think I forgot. I haven't got no wins, but I've been playing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. Uh, this has been episode seven, guys. This is the twins. Caleb, Cody, you've met the pack. Thank you guys for staying tuned this whole thing. We're going to try to play hard for you every game, guys. Pack a lot. We love you. Oh, uh, shout out to I love you. <laughs> <laughs>